Hey, my name is Connor, and welcome to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. This video will be a step-by-step -step guide on how to get the StarkNet token airdrop for when it is released. So if that does interest you, be sure to stick with me until the end of the video. Without further ado, let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. As of right now, the StarkNet token is not yet live. We are looking at the CoinGecko page and we can see that it is preview only. And if you're wondering what is StarkNet, let's go over that right now. So StarkNet is a permissionless decentralized layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. And the STRK token will be used for governance and to pay for gas. Now it's very important to note right now in this video because the StarkNet token is not live yet, we will be using Ethereum as the main token to transact on the network. We can read right here in the documentation about it that the fees right now are denominated in ETH. All right, so it's important that you need a MetaMask wallet and you need some Ethereum in that MetaMask wallet on the Ethereum mainnet for this tutorial. Without further ado, let's start getting into the tutorial. Let's go over step one right now. Step one is going to be getting a StarkNet wallet. Now the most popular wallet for StarkNet is called Argent. You can come on over, I will leave the link down in the description below for this. But this is the StarkNet ecosystem page. From here you can go to Wallet, and then you can see there's either Argent X or Bravos. Now Argent X has a ton of more users, so I would definitely recommend you check out Argent X over Bravos. So you're just gonna click on the website, it will take you to their main website. You'll then get the prompt to download the Google Chrome extension, it will take you to the Google Chrome store, from here, you're gonna to wanna to add it to your Brave browser. Once you add it to your Brave browser, you're gonna to wanna to make your account, and then you're gonna have a 12-word seed phrase. I've already made my account, but make sure you write that 12-word seed phrase down and you secure it off of your computer so that nobody will ever be able to access your wallet and get access to your funds and steal your money. So very important, security comes first. Write that 12-word seed phrase down, keep it in a safe place and you're gonna need that Argent X wallet, so go ahead and do that right now. So after you create your Argent X wallet for StarkNet, you will need to get some money over from the Ethereum mainnet to the StarkNet mainnet. Very important to note right now that the mainnet is live for StarkNet. We can check out the Explorer, the Block Explorer, and see all the transactions going through, but a lot of apps are only on testnet as of right now. This ecosystem page will tell you in the top left corner for each app, whether it is on mainnet or just on testnet. All right, so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use both the mainnet and the testnet because the more transactions you have associated to your specific wallet, the better to secure the airdrop. And also, I will note right now, my sources have told me that the first snapshot for the airdrop was taken back on the 1st of July, but that does not mean that there won't be any more snapshots to make sure that you can secure some StarkNet tokens for yourself. These layer two airdrops can be very profitable. Earlier on in the year 2022, the Optimism airdrop came out and people got between a few hundred tokens to maybe a few thousand. And that token price traded as high as $2 at one time. So that means people made hundreds to thousands of dollars from that airdrop, which is why I'm making this video for you today right now. So if you're enjoying it, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you're brand new to Crypto Empire, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's continue on with this StarkNet airdrop tutorial. So now that you have your wallet created, it's time to bridge some money over from Ethereum to StarkNet. In order to do that, we will need to connect two wallets. First of all, we need to connect our MetaMask wallet that is on the Ethereum mainnet. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then we also wanna make sure that we have our Argent wallet created. So we're gonna to wanna to select the StarkNet network and then we can see we're prompted to install Argent X. Let's just click on that. So we already have it installed. Go ahead and refresh that. Make sure that our page is nice and refreshed so that our Argent X wallet does pick up here. So let's select StarkNet and we are now prompted to go ahead and connect our account with the Orbiter Bridge. All right, and as you can see, we have two wallets connected, MetaMask on Ethereum and the StarkNet wallet. So now what we want to do is we want to bridge a little bit of Ethereum over. The minimum amount is 0.005. So let's bridge over 0 
uh, 05 ETH. And let's send that over to the StarkNet mainnet and we can see that it's giving us a time of around 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. And also important to note, it looks like my StarkNet account is on testnet, so we want to make sure we switch that to the mainnet. If this is the first time that you switch it to mainnet, it's going to ask you to create a mainnet account. All you need to do is press that one button, your seed phrase will be the same, but you need to press that button to create your mainnet account. So now we're on the mainnet, and let's go ahead and send our, we got to refresh the page first, and then we'll send our tokens over, our little bit of Ethereum. 0.05 ETH and we'll send that so we can see that we're going to be paying a small withholding fee of 0.0012 ETH and we will be receiving 0.05 so let's go ahead and confirm that it's giving us a prompt that could be done in one to two hours we definitely don't want to see that happen but uh, we're gonna send this transaction anyway for the video. So we'll be back when the money bridge is over. All right, we are back and that timestamp of this saying would be 10 minutes is fairly accurate. That was almost exactly 10 minutes and we now have some Ethereum over onto the StarkNet layer two for Ethereum network. So now that we have some funds over, what we wanna do is we wanna interact with some protocols, some decentralized applications on the StarkNet layer one network or layer two network I should say but on the main net is what I mean all right so all of the applications are listed here on this page like I said it will be down in the video description for you first things first let's head on over to a swapping protocol this is called 10k swap 10k swap.com and we want to go ahead and make sure that our Argent X wallet is being picked up let's connect our wallet to the protocol Go ahead and do that and we are now connected which is great and we are on the main net too so as of right now we can only swap between ethereum some stable coins and wrapped bitcoin so let's go ahead and select die and let's put a little bit of eth over let's put 0.02 we're gonna get 21 die let's go ahead and swap confirm and again we will approve this transaction right now we're paying 16 cents for the fee for this transaction. Let's go ahead and approve that. Now, this is not financial advice, I'll say. This is all still in beta testing. There's a reason that they haven't launched their token yet. The wallet, all these decentralized applications, they're all still basically in beta testing. So I really don't recommend using a significant amount of money for trying to get this airdrop. I'm not sure if the volume of the money you bridge over and the volume of the money that you transact with will have an impact on the amount of tokens you do receive from the airdrop or if it's just how many transactions and how many different decentralized applications you actually go ahead and interact with. Now regardless, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you interact with a lot and don't just interact with an application one time one day and then leave it forever. You're gonna to wanna to make this kind of a weekly thing where every week you'll go and do a few transactions on the network so that you make sure you have a lot of volume on the network for when they take that snapshot. That's very important to make sure you get a good amount of tokens from the airdrop. Let's go ahead and wait for this transaction to process and then we'll move on. All right, so after a few minutes, this transaction did successfully go through. Like I said, this is still in beta testing. So over here, it says the transaction is pending, but I now have received the die. So I can go ahead and swap it back, which is probably a good idea, because like I said, you wanna make sure you have a ton of transactions. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap this back into Ethereum. Let's go ahead and approve that transaction. So you, we wanna do as many transactions as possible, long story short, and interact with as many applications as possible. All right, so the transaction successfully went through to swap that dive back into Ethereum. So now let's move on and use some other decentralized applications on StarkNet. Okay, now that we've done a few transactions on the mainnet of StarkNet, it's time to do a few transactions on the testnet as well. But in order to use the testnet, we need some testnet Ethereum. And in order to get that, we need to head on over to the faucet on the test network. I will leave this link down in the description below. And all we're gonna wanna do is put our account address in there. So we'll go on over to our wallet over here and we will copy our address. We will go ahead and paste that address. We will hit the little prompt that says we're not a robot. We're gonna verify ourselves with these very annoying capachas. And we will send the request. 
All right, so it looks like we put a max usage. This is actually the first time that I've ever used the faucet. So that is not a very good sign the first time I'm ever using it. And paste that. See if this works this time. All right, looks like our testnet tokens are going through. So we see how there's a lot of bugs with the testnet, right? It was telling me the max usage was used to mint out of the faucet when I hadn't minted any tokens. So this thing, if you have tech difficulties, you're seeing myself have some tech difficulties firsthand now. So you're not alone out there. That's why we're figuring it out together here on this video. Okay, perfect. Our request has been completed to get some testnet tokens. So we can now not be frustrated when trying to get this airdrop. So let's go back to all of these other applications that I formerly thought I wouldn't be able to use. First one, let's use that digital ID protocol, the Starknet ID, and figure this one out together. So let's launch this application. Let's add one. And we can now do this because we have enough to cover the mid cost, which is perfect. Let's approve this. All right, so our Starknet identity is now complete and wants us to verify our Discord. It's a little bit sketchy. Okay, so we'll take a screenshot of this and make sure we capture it on our desktop. So I guess we're not able to create our own custom domains yet, but we are Starknet ID 13579396100. That's great, very happy with my Starknet ID not. Anyway, so we did that, that's one transaction on the test net, so we can cross that off. Okay, so far in the airdrop, we have used the Orbiter Bridge, we have also used 10K Swap, and we have used the ID protocol on Starknet on the test net. Now we are going to use the Stark Gate Bridge on the main net, and we're gonna move over some Ethereum to our Starknet wallet using a different bridge. So again, we're gonna to wanna to connect our MetaMask wallet, it's gonna ask us to be on the main net, and we will go ahead and connect our MetaMask wallet, and connect our StarkNet wallet, Argin X. Go ahead and hit connect, okay? So now we have the option to go ahead and bridge some Ethereum over. So we'll go ahead and transfer this, and we will move this over from the Ethereum layer one network to the StarkNet layer two Ethereum network. Confirm this, moving over around $57, and the transfer is now processing. So let's go ahead and wait for this transfer to conclude. Okay, so we have confirmation that the transaction has been sent. All right, so it says it can take up to a few hours depending on how congested the network is. We're not gonna wait for this to conclude. We're gonna go ahead and continue on with the video. All right, so a lot of these applications on testnet are still in beta testing and they are not necessarily very easy to use. So for now, just make sure you have your Argin X wallet, make sure that you bridge some Ethereum over using Orbiter, and then you also use the Starkgate bridge, do some transactions on 10K swap, and as this continues to get developed and rolled out, we'll be able to use more decentralized applications. And like I said earlier on in the video, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you come back to this maybe once a week, once every two weeks, and do some more transactions on the network to make sure that your wallet has a lot of volume with transactions. I don't know for sure, but my speculation is the more transactions that you do, the higher your airdrop amount will be. And of course, that's what we're all here for. We want as many tokens as possible. So I hope that you did enjoy this video. I hope that it did help you out. If it did, smash that like button down below. I greatly appreciate your support. So in this video, we went over how to get the StarkNet airdrop. We used a few decentralized applications on the Layer 2 StarkNet network. I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.